So Airbus are considering the AV21XLR as the ultimate evolution of the current AV21LR. Now it will feature a slightly larger fuel tank which will allow it to fly even further than its counterpart. Now it's not exactly clear whether adding a larger fuel tank will hinder the seating capacity of the plane or whether it will have an impact on the maximum takeoff weight. But one thing is for sure that Airbus are saying that it could be the answer for the gap in the middle of the market as Boeing are taking their time to evaluate, study and hopefully launch the plane by 2025. But there are some people in industry who are thinking, what is the point of the plane? Now Airbus have said themselves that it will be primarily for the North American carriers. And many people are saying that the LR and the XLR are only cheap options for the airlines until the 797 comes into the market. Well, the 797 has two variants, also known as the NMA6X and the NMA7X. Now, the 6X would aim to carry up to 225 passengers with a distance of 5,000 nautical miles, and the 7X carrying up to 265 passengers with a distance of 4,500 miles. Now, the XLR will be able to carry up to 245 passengers give or take, with 206 in a two-class configuration on 4,600 nautical mile missions. Now, if Boeing does decide to go ahead with their two variants, the 6 and the 7, then the XLR will carry 25 more passengers than the 6X, although it will fly 500 miles less. However, the 7X will carry 15 more passengers and travel as the same distance as the XLR, give or take. So if we take all of these numbers into consideration, then it's not really surprising that Airbus are considering a longer range variant of its long range A321. But we should bear one thing in mind, airlines have plenty of experience with a single aisle middle of the market aircraft by using the 757. Although it's a short and narrow body with acceptable range, it could work on some long skinny routes but there hasn't been much enthusiasm for it nor has it really materialized into something tangible because the weight of the additional fuel will come at a cost of fewer seats. Now, although there isn't concrete evidence as of yet to support this claim, we do know, however, that Boeing won't compromise on optimal efficiency, because the middle of the market missions can't be supported or be done by anything that is larger than the conventional size of the 757. The 767, for example, is simply too big and it's too heavy, and it's not really interesting or opportunistic. In the case of NMA, however, the 7 abreast shape will be a big winner. Featuring a cross-section of around 15 square meters and a next-generation engine, the 797 could be the ultimate answer to fly the niche market perfectly. But for now, it'll be interesting to see where the Airbus goes through with the XLR variant for the successful A321 program. If Boeing does indeed announce and release the NMA-7X, it won't be long until Airbus starts the development of the XLR to beat the 797. So guys, if you have any opinions or thoughts, then do share it with us in the comments below. Do you think the XLR will be a worthy competitor to the 797 or do you think that the 797 is overhyped and the job can be done with a similar plane? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, like and subscribe and I hope to catch you guys very soon.